Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin. It's time for another unboxing. HP has some new printers coming out called the Tango, which I think might uh, start to define how their home printing works. Uh, what they were shooting for here is something uh, that's more of an appliance versus a printer that has to be near your computer, for example. Uh, so it works over Wi-Fi as most printers do, but they also have the ability to use it over the internet as well. So you can print things when you're not at home and it simplifies all of that. We're gonna take it out of the box here and we're also going to do uh, an installation as well so you can see what the process is for getting it up and running. It does involve and require uh, a smartphone for uh, getting it working properly. Uh, now there's a Tango X, which is what this one is. This costs $199. Uh, there's another one called the Tango for $149. My understanding is they are the same, but the difference between the X and the non-X is the upholstery here. So you get a nice fabric wrap uh, that you can use for your printer if you do intend on putting it uh, somewhere in your house and don't want it to look offensive. You can just wrap it up with this nice fabric cover here when not in use. Uh, when it is in use, it folds out like so, and this will make more sense when we uh, go to get the printer set up in a few minutes here, but you can see what the overall hardware here looks like. So we'll just take the wrap away for a second just so you can see the rest of the printer. Um, so it's pretty Spartan in its appearance, uh, partly because they wanted to simplify the uh, printing process, but also because it now is going to use your smartphone for most of the configuration. Uh, the mechanism though inside is not much different than other HP printers. So from the standpoint of overall photo quality and print quality, uh, it should be about the same along with ink consumption. Uh, but they are doing something with the instant ink subscription program this, this go around so that if you are printing photos from the Tango printers, they're going to let you print those for free if you have an HP instant ink subscription. So that means if you print a five by seven or smaller photo, that doesn't count against your usage and they'll keep sending you ink cartridges uh, for free basically, not counting those pages in your plan. So I thought that was kind of a good deal. Uh, so this is what it looks like when it's closed up, pretty attractive. And again, you can wrap it up in that fabric. Uh, you'll notice though, there's no port on here for USB. It is not designed to be plugged into a computer at all. It is strictly a Wi-Fi device. So all you do is plug power into it and that is it. So we will again, step through that process in a minute. Uh, you get some stuff here in the box to tell you how to get it going. So step one, plug it in. Step two, get the app uh, to get everything configured. Uh, you have your instant ink, of course, here, some sample photo paper for printing out pictures on it. Uh, and then, of course, you've got all of the uh, lighting instructions and what these things mean. So there's no screen. It's go all going to go to your phone, but there will be some lighting that will give you some indications as to what's going on. And in this pouch here, we have the power cable and it looks like an ink cartridge here. I'm not sure if this is a starter pack or not. Uh, so we'll see how much capacity we have on these when we get everything up and running here. Uh, but of course, they really want to push you into that instant ink service to uh, get the best deal on your consumables. But you can, of course, just buy the ink cartridges at retail like you've always done as well. So what I'm going to do now uh, is bring this over to the desk and uh, we'll begin the installation process and see what this is looking like. Okay, so we've got the printer hooked up to power now. It's going through its startup procedure. I haven't yet put the ink in, so I'm going to let the app here kind of guide us through the process. So I'm going to click on add a new printer over here and it found the Tango. I'm assuming it's finding it via Bluetooth. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. And what it's going to do now is start looking for uh, Wi-Fi networks that it can connect to. So let me connect it up to my Wi-Fi and we'll continue on once it does get that connection. All right, so it looks like the printer has connected up to the Wi-Fi network. We're going to click on continue now and see what our next step is. I'm assuming it's going to be to put the ink in. Now, once you connect the printer up to your Wi-Fi network, the app will ask you for your HP account or prompt you to make one if you don't have one already. You don't need to do that if your only intention is to print inside of the home. We found that once we got the printer on the Wi-Fi, uh, my phone here along with my Mac and Windows computers could find the printer without anything else. But uh, if you want to print over the internet or use some of the other features we'll be covering in the main review, you do need one of those HP accounts and the printer does need to be connected to the internet. Uh, another thing that'll happen once you log into that HP account is that it will give you instructions as to how to install the ink. So we have opened up the door of the printer here. And we're going to slide that to the right. We already pulled the orange tab off of 
uh, one of the ink cartridges and then uh, instructs you as to how to put the cartridge into the printer. I did find that it was a little tricky to get that cartridge in. So let's take a look at uh, installing the cartridge here. I'll, I'll just lift this up here so you can see that. There's a little tab here. What you have to do is kind of get the uh, cartridge underneath that and then snap it in. Um, with the top part here to latch it into place. It was not as easy as I thought it should be. I'm kind of fighting with these a little bit. They're kind of tough here. I was worried about breaking them a little bit there, but you do want to make sure that that uh, clip latches over the top of it. So let's open up the color one here. Uh, like many other HP printers, uh, your black is in one cartridge and then your cyan, magenta, and yellow are in another. And let me uh, angle the printer up here again and we'll get that cartridge kind of underneath the uh, oops, I forgot to rip off the uh, top part here. Here we go. Uh, we'll get that cartridge underneath the flap here and snap it into place. So it's a little trickier than I thought it should be for uh, getting these ink cartridges installed. But once you get them in there, um, you're good to go. So now we've got uh, both cartridges installed on here. Uh, the clamps are down on top like they should be. And then we'll refer back to the app here and see what our next step is. So we've done that. Uh, and now we have to close the ink door and Get that snapped back into place there, so we're good to go. And then we'll let the printer kind of do its thing. So it's going to go through its initial cleaning here, it looks like. Uh, and then when it's done, we'll see what our next step is. So it looks like it never prompted me to go past this stage after we close the ink door. So I'm going to click on these little uh, dots up in the upper right-hand corner and skip this section to move on to the next step here of the process. And I think after this, uh, we should be good to go and should be able to print now, if your intention is to print to this when you are away from your home, uh, you have to do it through one of the HP apps when you're away. When you're on the same network as the printer, you can use whatever is built into your operating system. So uh, on the iOS platform, for example, you can use AirPrint. Uh, Windows, of course, will use standard Windows printing, as will the Mac. I'll show you all of that uh, in a second when we get some other things set up. And then what'll happen is you'll get a pitch for the instant ink service. And again, I think there's a, maybe a, an argument on this printer for using it, especially if you are printing out photos, because you will be able to print photos for free, not counting against your page count uh, when you're using instant ink. But I'm going to just click do not enable for now, just to run with what we've got uh, here in the box. So once you go through all of that, you'll be ready to go and you'll see the printer here is showing up on the app and we've got ink levels and on the right hand side there is the paper level and we've got a warning because I only have about three or four pieces of paper in the printer so it's indicating that we might want to put more in and it's pretty quick about updating its status too so if I go ahead here and pull the paper out You'll see the app very quickly updates with the uh, fact that the printer now is out of paper and should get more paper added to it. Uh, it will keep a queue even remotely, so if you do happen to be away from home with no paper in the printer, it'll store it up until there is paper in there and then the prints will flow out from there. Let's take a look now at getting a PC hooked up to it with Windows. So on Windows, if we click on the settings icon here and then go over to devices and then select printers. Uh, what we should see on the list of available printers is our HP Tango printer. So I'm going to click on add right here and that will start going out and searching for things. And actually it already found it. So I'm going to click on this and click on add device. And what this will do is get the printer working locally. Uh, so I don't have to go out to HP's website or anything to download software. It's just going to get what it needs automatically through Windows 10. Uh, this will take a second or two for it to update itself. And then when this is done, I can print locally on the network, but I'll also have a means of finding the app so I can print when I am away from home as well. Uh, so we'll let this thing finish installing. And when it's done, I'll show you the next step. All right, so it's done now installing, and you'll see here we have an option to get an app as well. Uh, the app is what you'll use when you are away from home with your laptop, for example, but still want to print to this printer. Uh, so you click on Get App here. That will take you to the Windows App Store to install the HP Smart App, and we'll explore some of that in the main review. On the Mac, it's a similar process. Just have the Mac detect the printer on the network, and you'll be set to go from there as well, and you can begin printing without any issues there. So we're going to be doing a deeper dive into this shortly on the main channel at lon.tv, so you can get a full idea as to how this printer works and whether it's good or not. Uh, that'll be coming up very soon, so check it out. We'll have a link to that in the description down below. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman, and thanks for watching my extras channel. Stay tuned.
This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.